Hey, how's it going, collectors? It's Dave here. Uh, first time I came around on the other side of the camera. So, um, what I wanted to do today is talk a little bit about uh, my Tony Gwynn collection and ask a few questions to the rest of the hobby about those that are going to watch this, at least. Um, how do you get after collecting a player? Uh, for me, the way that I'm attacking the uh, collecting of Tony Gwynn is trying to do it by year. Um, and I always say there's there's pickups in between that uh, you know just come by as I buy a Tony Gwynn lot or something like that. But I'd be interested to see you know who your player is one and kind of how you focus your efforts on collecting that that player. Um, I know for Tony Gwynn he's got uh, <laughs> by Beckett uh, 9,974 cards. Um, there's some other collectors on there by like. Uh, Tops 85401. Um, I believe Nate has a uh, road to 5,000 for Barry Bonds. Um, so I'm not I'm not trying to do anything like that. Uh, I think that's a little bit out of my realm of, of possible. So the first uh, number that that I've kind of grasped onto is 500. Uh, so currently I'm at about 140. So I did get some stuff today. That I'll take a look at from Comp C. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about Comp C, but you know, just to throw some numbers out there, Tony Gwynn's got four rookie cards. I do have those, uh, so I'm rookie card complete, but that's not a major accomplishment. He's got uh, 1,766 autographs. I have one. <laughs> uh, 6,279 numbered cards. Not sure how many I have, but it uh, it's nowhere nowhere near uh, what I'd like it to be. And then um, something like 3,106 relics, uh, bat and jersey relics. So quite, quite, a f quite a few cards, and it's really difficult to uh, to go after and focus on card collecting of an individual player in these days because the card, the players' cards don't stop at the year that they that they retired from baseball. Um, Tony Gwynn cards are still produced today, not so much from Tops, which is weird. If, if anybody has any insights on that. I'd be interested to know. I've heard some rumors about potentially it being a part of the, you know, tobacco series or something like that. Or, um, but if anybody has any insight, please drop it in the comments. But Tops doesn't really produce many Tony Gwynn cards. They have um, a plethora of greats that they produce on a, on a on a yearly basis. Ricky Henderson, Cal Ripken, you know, those kinds of guys. Don Mattingly, you see them in uh, shoot even greats like Mickey Mantle. Babe Ruth and stuff like that are still in Topps products today, but you really might, you seldom will see a Tony Gwynn card. Um, even uh, the SP photo variations and stuff. So uh, at this point, I'm going to turn the camera around, show you some of the, the cards that I have in my in my uh, Tony Gwynn collection, um, or step away from the camera, show you some of the cards I have, and uh, kind of some of my goals, a few pickups that I got uh, from Comp C and uh, we'll go from there. Very interested to see how, how you guys collect your player, who it is, and uh, how you focus on collecting them. All right, so the first thing I like to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at what I got from Comp C today, right? I already ripped this open, but uh, I know there's a lot, of different, a lot of different sites out there to acquire individual cards, right? Um, I just think, uh, you know, Comp C has worked for me. Um, there are a couple of more cost-effective solutions that I've, I've been looking at recently that I definitely, as I progress down this road to 500, my first goal, my Tony Gwynn collection, definitely take a look at some of the other ones. So, um, so we talked about attacking by year. So this is an 84 Nestle. Uh, it's a Nestle variation to the tops. So you see in the top right-hand corner, it has Nestle instead of tops. So this one's quite a bit more valuable than the standard 84 tops, but I didn't have it. Um, picked it up on Comp C for about $2.99. You see here is the 84 tops. Tough on the centering, but uh, still a good, good card. And then here's a couple of 86. This is an 86 Fleer limited edition. And a... I believe this one was an 86 Woolworth card, right? I didn't have this one. 
and this is an 86 Fleer sticker. This one's actually a sticker. I will not be peeling it, but very cool to add to the collection. It was uh, less than a dollar. So this one's the KB Toy Store, 1986. Okay, and this is a part of a much bigger series of cards that I'll have to click chase after, but uh, it's a 92 Fleer Ultra Tony Gwynn commemorative series. This is number one in the set. Um, not sure how many are in the set. I'll have to take a look at my checklist. Um, I'll flash that up there for you guys so those are interested. A couple of 92 upper decks. The uh, diamond skills and the base. Those were like 40 cents. Uh, this one I believe was a 1990, 1990 Kmart edition. Right. And upper deck uh, Star Quest and a Fleer. I believe this was from 2099. All right. So as I spoke about, I, I'm I'm trying to focus on years, but in order to to make the most of my money as far as shipping goes, get the most for my money, I should say that you know I'll I'll, I'll jump on a couple of ones that I don't have. So you can see the rookies in the background. I do have two of the tops. One of them is graded. Uh, it's only graded out of seven. But I didn't have this one. And I was chasing after it with decent centering. It was really difficult to find. Um, but I found this one for 16 bucks with pretty decent centering. And it was already graded. Uh, not in love with the grade of a six. And I'll eventually upgrade it at some point. But uh, I just wanted to get ownership so that I could knock out all of his rookie cards. Let me put that right there. So now I do have all of his rookie cards. Um, I'll chase after later a couple other goals, as in you know having graded and then of a certain grade. Um, I guess some would say that might be silly because I'm gonna end up with with a couple of doubles and you know have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. But you know when you're collecting on a budget, you can't always have exactly what you want um, when you want it. So sometimes you just gotta. So I have a couple of, kind of get what you can, when you can, right? Um, i got a couple of ones that are in top loaders. I'm going to show those off first. This is 84 Donruss. I really like this card. Um, I probably will have to chase after this one in a good grade. Um, I think it's a, it's, really, it's a really cool card. Okay, this is his uh, 84 Fleer. Uh, again, one of my older favorites. Great card. 85 Donruss. I really like this set. You can see I got the uh, Roger Clemens in the background there. This is such a cool set. And the Diamond Kings from that same year. All right, here's an 85 Fleer. And an 85 Tops. Or what was this? Yeah, this is 86. I'm sorry. 86 Tops. 86 Donruss. And a 1990 Wonder Bread, Wonder Stars. So I could chase after these, you know, not uh, the, the more difficult ones to find. And here's a couple more double play. This one has uh, Sean Green on the back, Tony Glenn on the front. A couple of relics. Here's a Fleer relic, not numbered, Jersey relic. And there's an SP relic. Again, not numbered, but still pretty cool. And a cut to the chase. With a die cut from tops and cards. This one's cool. Diamond Kings 2015. Uh, Mr. Padre. There it is. Yep. Okay, so the rest of the ones I'm going to flip through just real quickly are my binder ones. Just kind of show you how it what I'm sitting at. If you, if you see something that jumps out to you that, at you that you have and and you don't see it here in my collection, um, I would love to uh, have the opportunity to make some trades. Um, or, you know, if you, uh, you want to sell them to me, you can do that as well. Alright, so here's my Tony Wynn binder. Uh, it's not excessively large because, like I said, we're only talking uh, 
I'm talking 100 and 140. I don't keep any doubles at 87 down there in the middle. That's uh, that's the Tiffany. And you see that one in the top middle. That's the OPG version. Try to get the best angle to keep the glare out, but most of the most of the the uh, 80 stuffs pretty easy because there just wasn't a ton of variations. But you know, collecting the newer stuff, it gets harder. Everything's got a variation, but these are. I mean, you can easily see you know that I have all of the Donruss of 1990 because there's only a couple. You know, um, I gotta I gotta start looking through those for variations. Um, Nate. Uh, tops 85 401 he put together a great video on uh, variations so very cool I'll have to go through that and look at uh, some of my older variation cards or I'm sorry I should say error cards and some of them are just pretty crazy but you know when you're if your definition is individual uh, cards then it's a different card you know so variation is an error but uh, yeah these are these are the rest of them I'm starting to get into some of the some of the 90s where you got more inserts right so it gets it gets a little bit harder to to kind of chase after when it's not just the base and maybe one or two inserts it's freaking the base and 40 variations and rainbows and you know all the stuff that there is in today's uh collection and last page so some of the questions that i had uh that I had for everybody were, you know, like, do you set a goal of, as you know, just collecting while the player was active, or do you set a goal of, of collecting, all of his cards, uh, you know, or, or what are your goals? Because uh, I'd like to, like to hear from you guys and, and uh, see what, so see how you collect, the players that you get after. Um, so I'm gonna walk through Comp C. This was my order real quick. Um, I can search Tony Gwynn. Uh, I can look on the left. I can see his rookies. Right. <clears throat> I can check graded or ungraded, so his raw cards. And then if I select one of his raw cards, I can zoom in on it. And then I can flip it over and uh, also look at the back. Now, uh, some of you guys, I heard you were talking about, I heard some other folks, specifically Curtis Hendricks, he was talking about getting cards on sport lots. And, you know, I started to peruse around there. I noticed that the prices were absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, cards for 18 cents. <laughs> and, uh, you know, some pretty good ones at that. So if you play around player cards, right, you definitely end up with some good cards on there. What I, what I kind of didn't like and I, I favored Comp C over was the, the ability to look at that card you know some people didn't even post pictures on sports lots so um, but the ability to look at it and determine if you're looking for a card a raw card that you might want to grade later I think comp C might be your best bet but if you're just looking to pick up some cards um, you know the sports lot website pretty good uh, I also collect a lot on Facebook groups I've sh showed you some of the Facebook groups before in my other videos obviously uh, eBay and then uh, Oddly enough, I got a couple of pretty decent cards on Amazon. You don't always get the best price, but if you're looking for a particular card, um, Amazon's also something uh, something you got to think about. So while I'm on here, I wanted to kind of give a couple of shout outs. I've been doing YouTube videos for about a month now. Some of you folks are definitely been in the game for, for years, but uh, some of the people that are kind of in my peer group uh, that I really appreciate the comments and the interaction from um, specifically our Curtis Hendricks. You know, if you haven't seen his page, go ahead and take a, take a look at his stuff. He's got uh, lots of collection showcase kind of stuff. Um, he'll do some pack breaks and uh, in his mail breaks. Good big Giants fan, so I do collect Giants, so I enjoy kind of taking a look at his collection, seeing what he's got. Um, obviously, Tops eighty five four hundred one Tater was kind of and Tater, um, a separate dude, but uh, Nate, Tops85401, has uh, kind of given me the inspiration to to start collecting with a quantity goal uh, for Toby Gwynn. So hopefully, hopefully uh, that keeps me, that gets me focused, you know, on um, a direction, right? 
And then uh, uh, Stove Sports, uh, he's got some great collecting tip series. I like watching his videos. He's always got some, some good insight into players and collecting and things like that. So uh, I definitely appreciate the interaction that I've had with him. Uh, i got about 30 subscribers at this point. So if you're not one of my subscribers, uh, please subscribe and like the video. Comment, let me know. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Please comment below. Let me know how you collect your player, how you get after it. Any tips uh, you can give me, I'd appreciate. Thank you very much. Dave's Cards 861 out.